Hello and welcome to my auto crafter module for my automated sorting system. The best use of the system is definitely to make meds. How you do it is you need to have one box with all your materials in it, throw that in here. I normally throw it in a small box beneath the workbench. Uh, you can still connect the pipes, although you have to walk away and then come back and attach to the uh, input or output before the workbench use interaction pops up. They are adding a socket to connect the after the front of the small box soon, so you can attach it there if you find it easier. Of course, if you're using my modular sorting system, you can pull all the resources from your tier two line. First, you'll need to attach an industrial crafter to the workbench. It has two available sockets, uh, one on top and one on the bench, but I prefer to use the top one to keep visual clutter down. You can, of course, use both if you want. Uh, you want to have uh, two conveyors. One brings the resources in and one depots them out. And we can hook it up. Over here, we want to change the item filter. So we want cloth, low grade, and metal frag. We want to set the max to what it takes to make a syringe, which is 15 cloth, 10 low grade, 10 metal frags. And we need power, one power each, and we turn those on. Now the crafter itself also takes one power. We can raise it to three, pass it through into the power in, and you can turn it on. If we open this up, you'll see it has the resources, but it's not crafting anything. You need to have a blueprint. Come over to the research table, grab a syringe and 75 scrap. Then you can grab this blueprint and put it up in the crafter and it'll start crafting away. Once it's done crafting the syringe, this conveyor will bring it out right to this med box here. Of course, if you have my modular sorting system set up and you have a med box in there, you can plug this into the tier two line. You might not want to fill your entire box with med sticks as that'll drain a lot of resources. Uh, so just set a max on the conveyor. Uh, I'll set mine to 24, which is about two rows, and it'll stop crafting once that and the output of the crafter are full. The output of the crafter can hold eight additional syringes, so that's a total of 32 meds. You can make anything you have a blueprint for, but meds are the easiest and most efficient to do, and you'll always need a surplus of syringes. You also need a lot of ammo, but I find it makes more sense to use a mixing table uh, as you should already be using one to make gunpowder to save on 30% of uh, your charcoal. And it's easier just to throw some metal frags in when the gunpowder is done and the uh, mixing table can make the ammo as well. Setting up a whole new crafter just to make ammunition is a lot of extra work. One other thing is you need a workbench of the same tier of the item you're crafting. I am using a tier three right now to make a medical syringe. Medical syringe is tier two. Tier three can make that easily. I could not make a medical syringe on a tier one. Of course, you can do so much more with uh, auto crafting from creating full kits to uh, full on raid supplies. I believe though for the majority of people, that's all too much work to do every way or as meds could be set up quickly and easily. And as I've been talking, this med box is filled up with two rows and the crafter is now, all the output slots are full and it stopped crafting anymore. So it won't keep taking any more resources from here. In an upcoming update to the conveyor, they'll be changing how the minimum feature works on filters. It'll leave a set amount of resources in the input box and stop moving the resources. And this will be handy for the system so you don't have to use up all your cloth or low grade uh, on meds. And then you'll have none left to craft clothes or whatever else you need. If you haven't already, be sure to check out one of my other module videos. I have quite a few and hopefully you find at least one of them useful. Thanks for watching.